Hey guys, Jacob and Mario here, and today we're talking about the most surprising animes we've ever watched. Which will probably be a sh short segment on this yeah, one. Yeah, nice and short and sweet. I've yeah. only got a couple. So we're just going to run past these and as soon as possibly, possibly can, I guess. And, yeah, um, pretty much. There's not, there's not really a lot we need just, to discuss. These are anime that surprised us by being good, mm. essentially. Things that we expected to dislike or initially disliked that we ended up enjoying. Okay. So hit me with it. Um, okay, so my first one was Girls in Panzer. So essentially it's an anime uh, about girls in high school who start up their tankery course again. Um, yes, and they drive tanks and they battle against other schools with their tanks. But none of them actually get hurt somehow. They've got like rounds uh, that don't hurt them, I guess, so whatever. Like It's like Nerf tank. Yeah, but they're all cute girls who have like weird tanks yeah they each have a different role they all paint their own tanks and uh it's like what the hell this makes no sense but Girls anyway und Panzer. it's got a really good opening though so yes. that was that's just surprising the story the premise of it sounds a bit weird and it's like okay yeah this is just going to be some generic crap but it wasn't it actually it was an interesting story hit it marks cool. where it needed to so it's good anime yeah also great game yeah um, so the first one for me, I've talked about it a few times, it's, uh, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, I expected to hate this show, it is all of the things that I don't like, it's slice of life, school, romance, I was expecting it to be just this negative, like, one-sided relationship thing, and instead I was given one of the most realistic and beautiful, like, personal relationships I've ever seen in an anime. Mm. I thought I was going to hate it. I thought it was just going to be some etchy crap, but instead it was, like, moving and soul-touching and, like, emotionally charged. It was and... one of the best anime of the year. So. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Everyone should watch that. Mm. Okay. Everyone. Uh, my next one was uh, Log Horizon. Woo! Log Horizon! Horizon! Yes! Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just... I thought it might just be boring because it's just, like, another isekai or like it's just it's where they get sucked into a game and they're like where are we where are? but honestly i got really so the main character is cool i got really into it and the reason for it is because they developed on like the smaller side of things it wasn't just all about fighting their way mm -hmm. out it was about building up the community around them and Long horizon trying to the live best D &D yeah, show. and trying to live with what's happened and trying to make it better a better circumstance so like they build systems of trade and finance and mm -hmm. start to talk with like a, king, a different kingdom about things and like they organize treaties and all that sort of stuff so it really develops on um like the generic general it's just oh if we're in a game we're just fighting monsters and that's it and leveling up that's it but this actually takes it a step forward from that so I like for sure that. yeah yeah um log horizon i watched that just after i watched sword art someone's like wow if you like sword art you should watch this and initially i'm like Ugh, i'm not really feeling it and then suddenly uh, like five or six episodes in something clicked and i was like i love this this is great it was the best D, &D show i've ever watched mm. but anyway that's log horizon what i want to talk about is jojo's bizarre adventure Yes, for as much as I talk about that show and try to champion it, oh. the first season, the... I wouldn't agree with you that it's Phantom, like, Phantom it was Blood. surprising that it was good. I felt no, no. like it would so be... So, the thing is, for me, Phantom Blood with Jonathan and Dio initially, I think I tried to watch that. I tried to watch that first season about six times before I finally muscled through. I didn't enjoy it. I... Thought it was like, eh, like, whatever. I didn't like it. I didn't like Speedwagon or any of the stuff. But then okay. I finally muscled through and I got to Battle Tendency with Joseph. And holy wow, did that just click in for me. And I appreciated everything that came before with Jonathan and Speedwagon and Dio and all that. I It sort of then made sense. But it surprised me because I was watching it because all my friends talk about it. And it's like, ugh, fine. I'll watch this show that I hate that I've never been able to sit through. Mm. And I got through a whole season before it suddenly was like, I love this show. And now I'm watching it week to week. Now, I, I, I even read some of the manga. Okay, okay. Like, it, it shocked me. I'll let you have it there. Okay, all good. Uh, my next one was uh, Kakatu Kikaku. 
<laughs> Hitman Reborn. Hitman Reborn. Uh, was it? Ca- ta- ta- Man, ta- we're going to spend all 20 minutes on you trying to say this. Ca- ca- ta- ta- I, I, dude, I, like I've said it so many times, I was actually ca- pretty ta- good. Ta- no. ta- ca- ta- ca- oh my god, fucking whatever. Um, Hitman Reborn. Hitman Reborn. Yes. It is a good anime. I'm sorry. I can't say the Japanese name for it. That's the baby, ashamed. baby gangster anime, right? Baby gangster anime. Isn't that one? It's got a baby in there that, that yes, that, that is a gangster. They're, yes. part of, they're part of the mafia. But essentially, it's one of those ones where the starting of it is really like, mm. eh, meh. Yeah. But it really grows yeah. from where, like, I think it's the first, like, 20 episodes, like, meh. But after that, holy shit. Gets yeah. really good. I love it. I love it so much that I bought the ring collection for it. And I gave it to, like, friends that I thought sort of matched the each of the ring's personalities. That's how in depth I got into it. Wow. Um, comment below if you can guess which one I gave myself. Obviously, I did not give myself uh, the... Uh, uh, uh. I guess. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to say, I didn't give myself the the main hero one, the, the Sky Ring. Because why would I? Because otherwise I'd be so self-indulgent. I mean, now you've taken off one of the tricks for the, for the game. There's plenty of other ones I can choose from. Hey man, if you win this, you get a ring. Yeah, if you win this, you get a ring. So comment below if you can guess which one... Um, I was. If you like gangster baby anime, you can win the ring from gangster baby anime. Kick <laughs> after your Hitman Reborn. I said it finally. You yeah. See, all you need to do is like Kick channel after... into your anger. Kick after your Hitman yes. Reborn. Okay, yeah. So there's a good anime. Let your What's the next one? Flow through you. Um, Power. <laughs> do it. All right. Uh, this one wait, for wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. All right. Cheer Boys. This was one that I sort of watched mildly in spite of you. Because you're like, let's talk about slice of life anime. 